In part five of lecture eight, we will discuss cookies and secure browsing. As we discussed before, HTTP is short for Hypertext Transport Protocol, and it is a set of standards that govern the conversation that your browser has with the web server from which it seeks to download web pages. The set of commands that are used for this purpose are called HTTP methods. The cookies that we are talking about are not the ones that the cookie monster wants. These are actually small pieces of data that web servers generate and store on your hard disk or in your computer's memory. They tend to serve several purposes. They can monitor your path through a website so it can indicate to you the pages on the site that you have already visited. Cookies can also be used to gather information about whoever is browsing the site. They can collect personal information and they can check to make sure that you logged on with a valid ID and password and that you belong on the site. Cookies can be session cookies or persistent cookies. Session cookies are stored in memory and when the browser is closed they are deleted from memory. Persistent cookies are stored on a device after the session is over. Some will time out after a specific date and time. Others may need to be deleted. Cookies placed on your hard drive do not necessarily come from the sites you are browsing, although many of them do. Imagine for a moment that you are browsing one particular site and they have an ad appear on their page. The company responsible for the ad may also place a cookie on your computer. If you later visit another site containing ads placed by that same company, they can place another cookie on your computer. After a while, those help this third party put together a profile of your life online. This is one reason why many people make it a regular habit to delete cookies on their computer. It is also possible to have your browser block third party cookies or even any cookies at all. But in some cases, it may keep you from seeing what you are looking for on a given site. HTTP Secure allows you to transmit to a web server with an encrypted connection. You can tell when you have this because you will see the HTTPS protocol at the beginning of your URL. The question is how do you know that the site to which you are connecting is really secure? HTTP secure sites are required to present an SSL certificate. SSL is short for Secure Sockets Layer, a set of protocols that ensures that the server is not simply pretending to be something it isn't. The lock icon indicates a secure site with a valid certificate. The little I in a circle means that the site is using HTTP and not HTTPS. If you change HTTP colon slash slash at the beginning of the URL you typed, to HTTPS colon slash slash, it might turn out to be secure. If there is a red triangle with an exclamation point, there is a problem with the site's certificate. You cannot assume that it is secure, and going to the site might compromise your private data. HTTP Secure makes use of HTTP together with a public encryption technology called SSL slash TLS or 
secure sockets layer with transport layer security. What makes this secure is public encryption. The sender sends the receiver a public key for encrypting the data, but keeps secret the private key which is necessary for decryption. Intercepting the message and the public key does not help the interceptor because the private key is needed for decryption and it never leaves the sender's computer.